Welcome to my English classroom. Please hit the subscribe button over here to be a part of notification squad and don't forget to hit the bell button so that you can get the video in your notification as soon as it is uploaded. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel, my English classroom. This is the third lecture on Arms and the Man and this will be on Act 2 of Arms and the Man by G.B. Shaw. Don't forget to like, share and of course subscribe this particular channel. Thank you. So let's begin the lecture and go into our, that is my English classroom. In this particular scene, as I've already told you, that uh, Loka and this man, that is uh, Sergius, is all alone. Okay, and Sergius makes a Sergius starts to flirt with Loka. Hmm, and he comes on to her brusquely. Okay, he. He comes on to that particular lady brusquely. Now this suggests, this suggests that he himself thinks of himself about. I mean, he thinks he thinks he, he thinks about himself. Chordo, chordo. He thinks about himself as a hero. He's a self-obsessed person. Absolutely self-obsessed person. He does not want any, you know, yes or no from Lauka, as if she is not a girl. She is not a woman, she is not a lady, but rather an object. Now this is class distinction. If instead of it was Loka, sorry, Raina, he could have asked for the permission as the codes of codes of you know modesty suggest. He could have gone for the permission. Mm. He could have embraced her. Now, in the uh, on the other hand, because she is just a servant, he advances her without taking her own permission, thinking himself as if he's a hero. It's, it's just like a hero coming out of war. Like for example, you if you've seen Sunil Shetty in Border, mm. he is a, he was a hero and he advances towards his lady love the way as if she's just an object. Mm. <laughs> and you know you know he admits he also admits her admits this fact you know he admits this fact ki i love i i have an engagement with whom Raina. with Roina but i have a personality which enables me to go behind raina oh my god this is a great personality that allows him to go behind raina and flirt with lauka i have this grandio i, I, I told you in the last uh, in, in the earlier act ki he is he's not pragmatic rather he is grandior he thinks of a, himself as a man larger than life self obsessed madly obsessed <coughs> mm. now on the other hand lauka is very objective he's very you know you know uh, realistic is very cynical he he tells whom she tells sergius let's go to the side where nobody can see us let's go to the side where nobody can see us chalo waha Hmm? And on the other hand, this man, that is Sergius, he never takes care of these small facts. I'm a hero. Hmm? He never takes care of that small. This also shows the class class differences. Lauka wants to do everything in a in, in a concealed way, but he wants to do openly. I'm a hero. Hmm? Now, on the other hand, they are intimate. The scene is very intimate. And in this system, in this particular time of intimacy, Raina says, sorry, Loka says, you are with me. Hmm? You are with me. 
in this position and you are and what about your engagement with Raina? What about your engagement with Raina? Now the class prejudice suddenly activates in the mind of Sergius. He says that he says that you're no one. You're just no one with whom I should share or talk about my personal engagement. You're just a bloody servant. Keep this in mind. You are just a servant. Keep this in mind. Hmm? I cannot talk about my engagement, about my engagement to whom? To a servant. Now, on one hand, he's using, it's proven, it is proven that he's trying to use Lauka. But Lauka is not so simple. It's not so you know, easy to handle. He's, he's, he's an embodiment of intelligence, cunningness and clever, cleverness. He reacts immediately. He reacts immediately, says that you are engaged with Raina, but Raina will never going to marry you. She will never going to marry you because she loves another man and she refers to whom? Blanchly. Blanchly. A person whose name is also not revealed in the play to the instant that we are talking in. Uh, to the position that we are in, her, his name is also not been revealed. Forget about the love. Now, this is why I said Lauka is intelligent. Because she can hear what has not been seen. Because she can feel what is there in the air. Because she can see what has not been displayed. And that is what she heard, felt and seen when Raina was there with Blanche Lee. This is her anticipation. At most anticipation. Because neither Roina has said, nor Blanchely has said, but she knew as if she had a satellite, direct connection. Somebody comes in and tells her, oh, that scenes are going on. Now Sergius reacts, who that man is? Go on about me. Who is he? Who the hell he is? And insults her, you are a bloody sneak. You are a bad servant. And he presses her hand in such a way that she, she, that, she, that she gets hurted and suddenly realizes that he, ha he has hurt Lauka and says, I'm sorry, I'm really sorry. <coughs> I'm really, really sorry. Now, this is the time Lauka will give a befitting reply. Absolutely befitting reply. What the reply is? What is that reply? Hmm. That apologies are of no use for servant. Dear master, that apologies, apologies like these kind, are of no use for servant. Master, you remember what he said? I should not, how could I share my engagement with a servant? You are no one. Aqat meraho apni. Hmm? Pause karo, pause the recording to pause karo. Ready? Yeah. Ah. Now, in the next part of the scene, Roina enters. Anna. And let me tell you, she is, that is uh, Sergius and Lauka is not intimate at that particular time, but rather they were juggling. Hmm? They were fighting as if, you know? so they, they were not intimate, they were conversing, you can say that. They were concerned, conversing. And Raina enters and says in a very, you know, uh, what do you call, in a very joking way. I'm a joking you know? kind of a way. You know? He says, Ask Sergius, is Sergius and Lauka is flirting? Are you flirting, Sergius? With Lauka, okay, okay, continue, no problem. Now, this is a joke. She, with a class 
that she is there that is there in her mind try to understand this she with the class prejudice which is there in Reiner's mind can never thought in the blindest of her you know wildest of her imagination that Sergius can flirt with Lauka to a maid servant she brings I mean Reiner is a package beauty mind you know legacy property Sarah to everything is there with Reiner she cannot believe, oh my god, she cannot thought of. But let me tell you, if a man is engaged in such kind of a stuff, and if you try to, you know, if you, if you if, even jokingly if you tell him that you're doing such and stuff stuff, he will never react you in a joking way. He will never take that joke in a slightest way. He will always react in the most angryful manner. And if he reacts in a most angryful manner, believe that he is doing something wrong. This is a trick. I'm sharing this with you people, right? So believe that he's he's in a mess, right? So similarly, Sergius also reacts very roughly, so roughly that Raina has to say sorry, she has to apologize, Raina has to apologize and Sergius exits, went to the Petkov's office. Now Catherine enters, remember I talked about security? family security if I'm marrying my daughter to somebody who is bigger than me it's not only for the sake of daughter but for the sake of my family also for me also because my stake will be attached to that yes. similarly Catherine comes in and says that you remember that you know they were discussing about Blanchley that 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 Swiss soldier Sergius and you know uh, Petkov he was discussing, they were discussing. And if they will come to know that, ki it was you, Raina, who kept that man into your bedroom for the whole bloody night, Sergius will going to break away with that engagement. Oh my God, what to do? Raina was baffled. She says that, I feel sometimes that it is not me who wants to marry Sergius, but rather it is you who wants me to marry Sergius. Mm, it is not me who wants to marry Sergius, but it is you who wants me to marry Sergius. And angrily, she exits. And Lavakad comes in, and this is us. This is this. This will be the feast for Lavka. Mm? She comes in and says to Catherine. Madam, Your Highness, a Swiss soldier named Blanchley is waiting for you on the door. Situationist, not a dramatist. Waiting for the door, waiting on the door. Hmm? Now Catherine immediately realizes that it must be that soldier whom they helped. I know. Now Catherine conspires to keep that soldier away from Sergius and Petkov. Petkov. Mm. Now, actually there was a coat which was lent by Catherine to uh, Blanchley, coat of uh, Petkov, so that it should keep him warm. Take care. Uh, he was there to return that particular coat. Take care. Now, now, much to her dismay, Sergius and Catherine, sorry, uh, Catherine's dismay, and uh, Raina does not know who is or near, Catherine knows. Much to her dismay, Sergius and Blanchley already knew that Blanchley, Sergius and Petkov already knew that Blanchley is at the door because they have seen Blanchley through their two tower window outside Statney. And they welcome Petkov 
immediately he stands up he greets the soldier and he welcomes the soldier ठीक है and rainer enters sees blanchly get excited get away modesty get away all kinds of dignity go into the dustbin and she say oh my chocolate cream soldier huh oh my my chocolate cream soldier everyone is amused because they knew that rainer does not know blanchly but blanchly was very happy from inside he was amused he was happy and sergius and of course petkov was all confused what's happening what's happening oh my chocolate cream soldier catherine she 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 she, she has just turned her head hai na so that the expression should not be found on her face mu hata leti chupa leti ab now i told you that catherine sorry roina is a lady with beauty and mind a very rare combination i often tell that beauty with mind is a rare combination roina is and also or most of the shavian heroines are theek hai uh to kya bolta hai ha now she needs to cover up the story jo boli hai she needs to cover up hmm now she confesses a lie a cooked story hmm that i have given a small ornament of soldier to my you know to my um, servant nicola to put it on the chocolate cream and he has destroyed everything and that's why i shouted like this oh my chocolate cream soldier theek hai so she lied there and on the other hand you must have seen that movie ana waqt have you seen that movie waqt amitabh bachchan akshay kumar remember that servant remember that servant hai na uh what rajpal yadav and i'll make you see that particular thing then you'll like try to and then you will be able to understand at least the bit of you know uh uh nicola he is not exactly like that but bit of nicola now you know he brings that bag bloody bag in which that coat was there and now he brings that bag in between the whole mafil in between everyone was there he bring that bag oh this is the bag i guess and now this is the bag aur us bag ke andar what was that coat coat was there Mm. and as he was crossing catherine she 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 spotted the bag and immediately she freezed that bag mm. and after all this petkov said i would love to have blanchly i would love to have you blanchly as my guest for a day or two now this pleased blanchly but this has given tons and tons of tension to catherine, catherine. and of course raina was excited also that but the serious tension was there in the head of catherine mm stop stop karo <laughs>